Hey guys, how are you doing? Good evening, TGIF, everybody. Hi, Manuel. Lupita, great to see you. Um, Hi, Yves, Miss. Good evening. Abigail, Elwin, Camilo, Hi, how are you doing? Hi, guys. Good evening. How are you? Are you doing okay? Are you resting? Are you at home already? Just yes, in casa, guys. Are you there? Yes, teacher. Ah, okay, very nice. Good, good, good. So everything good. No encontraron mucho tráfico. You didn't find like much traffic. Gary, pero ustedes no viven acá en San Salvador, right? You're not in San Salvador. Yvette, oh, are you from uh, Santa Ana too? No. No, um, Mexicanos. Oh, you're in Mexicano. So then mm -hmm. it was just Lupita and, and Debra. Okay, okay. So everything okay? Was everything all right? <clears throat> Isaias, good evening. Great to see you. Hi, Deb. Good evening. Okay, so I hope you had a really nice day, guys, and really nice to to have you today in today's session. Uh, today we are going over session number 17, right? Solamente we are missing two more and we are done. Eh, gracias guys por avanzar con la plataforma. Thank you so much for that. That is really nice because eh, ustedes ya se pueden quedar un poco más libres también. A little bit uh, like freer, right? And a little bit better. Um, so, well, guys, part of the activities that we're going to be doing today, vamos a revisar un poquito de futuro. We're going to check future a little bit. El día de ayer empezamos a hablar un poquito de viajes, right? Traveling, hotels. Um, and today we are going to continue talking about that. Y vamos también a revisar un poquito de uh, future activities. Eh, algunos planes, algunos metas, right? Some goals that we have for the future in those activities. Um, let me uh, take a look. Hold on, hold on. Sorry about that. <clears throat> My voice is um is still like kind of sick. Sorry about it. All right, guys. So uh to get us started, I have some conversation here that we can practice um to talk about future activities, of course, and to talk about these plans or these goals that we may have for the future. Uh, so give me one second. I prepare a part of like conversations. Y también vamos a revisar un poquito de um, you know, listening, so to talk about it. So let's take a look at it. Um, tenemos la primer conversación. We do have the first conversation. Um, good evening. Hi, hi, good evening, Mr. Castaneda. Jorge, good evening. <clears throat> Great to see you there. Good evening, teacher. Hello, Bane, good evening. Carla, great to see you girls. Thank you for joining. Nice to have you already. Okay, guys, so let's take a look at this part. And um, we have this one. Let me read it for you. Y luego ustedes me ayudan a practicarla, right? Uh, it's so bastante interesante because it's about vacation, a very nice word. So let's take a look at it. Um, the, the man, the first one says, what are you going to do for summer break? Um, I'm going to study Sp Spanish in Spain. Nice. What are you going to study? I am going to take any, I'm not going to take any classes. I'm going to live there and learn the language. Good idea. You're going to learn a lot. I hope so. I'm going to really focus on learning Spanish naturally. Every day, I'm going to try to talk 
to as many people as I can. Guys, uh, yesterday estábamos hablando de, well, Mr. Castaneda nos estaba contando de España, you know, and uh, por cuestiones de la vida ya tenía por ahí esta conversación. And I was like, hey, this is very, like, cool, you know, uh, para que nos proyectemos right a la beca <laughs> that we're going to get in the future. And why not, you know, positive thinking. So, el poder de la atracción, right? Uh, so this one um, is about like studying in another place. And the person says, I'm not going to take any classes. I'm just going to live there and learn the language, right? So obviously, um, it's una conversación in English. So ellos no hablan español. They don't speak Spanish, pero quieren aprender el idioma, right? Um, guys, can I have some volunteers? Um, ¿Quién quiere comenzar a leer? Who would like to... Uh, read for us, who would like to practice for us. So anybody, can I have two? I need one boy and one girl or two boys, two girls, no problem. Me, teacher. Okay, thank you so much, Mr. Castaneda. So you can help us with the part of the man. And guys, I need one person, please, one more person to help us with the part of the woman. Anybody, boy or girl? Your teacher. Amazing event. So please, guys, help us with this. Uh, what are you going to do for summer break? I'm going to study Spanish in Spain. Nice. What are you going to study? I'm not going to take any class. I'm just going to live there and learn the language. Good idea. You are going to learn a lot. I hope so. I'm going to really focus on learning Spanish natural. Every day, I'm going to try to talk to as many people as I can. Wow, very nice. Really good job, both of you guys. So very nice job, Mr. Castaneda, with that. Anyway, it's super buen improvement. So, wow, I like it. Se, se escucha y uno la mejora la pronunciación. Kudos, very nice job. So, they are talking, guys, about traveling, right? Um, and obviously, they say, oh, I am going to do that. I'm going to learn. I'm going to travel. Now, I have one more co vocabulario nuevo. Alguien ve vocabulario nuevo, like any word that you don't know or we have not checked. No, right? It's bastante fácil. It's kind of easy. ¿Se entiende la conversación? Is it easy for you to get it? Yes. No. Maybe. Okay, I guess that's a yes. All right. So I have a second one. Let's go ahead and let's straight go and practice this one. Um, now we change the environment a little bit. Uh, ya no es uh, vacation, but we are talking about plans, activities that we do. Again, uh, we have a man here and a woman. Let me read it. And we will say, I'm going to practice it, right? So the man says, when are you going to email this, to mail this? It is due next week. I'm going to do it tomorrow when I go to the post office. How are you going to send it? By express mail or local mail? I'm going to send it by local mail. Why? It is going to take forever to get there, but it is still going to get there in time and, it, and it's going to save money. Well, if it doesn't, you're going to regret it. Just relax. It's not going to be late. Trust me. So, creo que es un poquito diferente el vocabulario, right? We have maybe a couple of new words, but guys, now repeat with me. So let's go ahead. And let's check the vocabulary that is new, right? Uh, I believe, no sé si han visto esa palabra before, so we have do. Uh, we have a regret that is right here. Regret it. We have trust me. And uh, ven otra palabra nueva. Do you see new more words? Do you see another one, guys? Good evening, teacher. Hi, Miss. How you doing? Uh, I'm good. I had a question. Uh, what is the difference with trust me or believe me? 
um, normal, ambas es lo mismo, both are the same, pero um, to be honest, we don't just believe me. Uh, para la expresión en español de we don't just believe me, uh, the American word would be trust me, porque quiero que alguien me crea, right? Alguien que confíe en lo que le estoy diciendo, so the, the appropriate word that would be trust me. Believe me es más como um, Latin American or Google Translation, I have to say. When I say trust me. Believe me. Tal vez cuando, a menos que esté diciendo alguna palabra or something and I tell you, eh, créeme que te estoy diciendo la verdad. Like, believe uh, that I'm saying the truth or believe me that I'm telling you the truth. Pero no solo, no, no solito, right? No, not just alone. So, la que sí podemos usar sola es esta de acá, that is trust me, right? Que tiene el mismo significado. But that would be the American word. Sometimes, siempre vamos a encontrar sinónimos and probably believe me and trust me son de las um, Miss. words we can use. Hi, Lupita. Um, what do you say still? No, que, uh, what, what is, is the meaning? What is still? Steel. Oh, but it's a steel. All right. Ahorita, Miss, we're going to check that out. Significa aún. Yes, exactly. But it is still going to get there. Yes. Es que, si la busca separado, no es lo mismo como que la enlace con otra palabra. Yes, that's right. De hecho, algunas veces la vas a ver sin la S como steel. Y sí, es lo mismo. It's the same. Um, so guys, no sé si han enviado alguna vez algo por paquetería. Have you ever sent like a letter, documents to another country or anything? ¿Han mandado algún paquete like for another country? Yes, miss. You have. Nobody else? Nadie más ha enviado cosas? Have you ever sent like documents, papers or something? Yes, yes, teacher, documents. In documents, all right. So here we have like post, uh, we have these two kinds of email that is express mail or local mail, right? So even cuando vamos al post office, le dicen quiere correo regular or like the VIP one. <laughs> More expensive, obviously, but faster. So esto tiene que ver mucho with the conversation. Están hablando de tiempos, right? Obviously, the cheapest is más lento, it's a slower. And the most expensive is faster. So, eso tiene que ver like with timing and sending documentation. So, guys, primero repitan conmigo, repeat with me. We have do. Do. We have do. We have do. Some people say it is do, like, yeah, but it's do, right? Do. You. That's totally fine. All right, we have steal. Steal. We have regret. Regret. Así como se lee, así como se escribe, regret. 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 And trust me. Okay, so what is regret? Any idea what is the meaning of regret? Lo que arrepentido. Yes, exactly. The conversation says, well, if it doesn't, you're going to regret it. Porque la persona dice que, que quiere ahorrar dinero, right? Because the person wants to save money. Lo va a enviar por ese que llega al mes, right? <laughs> so if it doesn't get on time, you are going to regret it. Te vas a arrepentir, right? Um, and obviously we have here at the end, just relax. It's, going, it's not going to be late. Trust me, right? So trust me es como confía en mí. Okay. That's pretty much the idea. Mm -hmm. Confía en mí, confía en lo que te digo, confía en lo que hago. So trust me, that's the expression we can use. Yeah. All right, guys. Do um, oh, yes. adeudado. Um, yes, but not necessarily. En este escenario dice, when are you going to mail this? It is due next week. Um, when we have reports or we have uh, uh, projects, tenemos fecha de entrega. Ese es el do. So do lo van a ver más seguido. Eh, no se ve casi solito. Entrega. But it is very common que le pongamos due date. 
So due date es la fecha de, um, como la fecha última, the last day que tenemos para entregar algo. Uh, so, es como la fecha de entrega o la fecha donde debo entregar algo, presentar algo y you no, know, el último día para algo. So that is the due date. Qué larga la, la... La explicación o el significado. Era una palabra tan chiquita. Yes. <laughs> yeah, so due date es fecha de entrega. Or due time es la fecha de algo. So, it says here, um, it is due next week. So, la fecha de entrega es la próxima semana, right? That is why they are talking about it. Hey, guys, help me with the conversation, please. Can I have two volunteers? It's me. Perdón, estoy en miedo. So, Lupita, help me with la parte del man. Help me with the first part. And guys, necesito somebody else. Who, who else wants to read? Volunteers? Or victims? I have more people. No, muerta. <laughs> Abigail? Yes, yes. Yes, amazing. No, uh, no Abigail, wants to volunteer? Ok, Abigail. So, ayúdenos con la parte donde dice woman, please. Y acá igual le vamos ayudando, no worry, si tienen dudas con algo. So, Lupita, whenever you're ready. Where are you going to make this? It is due next week. I'm going to do it tomorrow. When I go to post office? Oh, you're going to send it uh, by express me or local me. I'm going to send it by local mail. Why? It's going to take forever uh, to get there? But it is still going mm -hmm. to get there in time and it's going to save money. Mm -hmm. Well, if it's done, if it does, you doesn't regret it. Mm -hmm. Yes. Just relax. It's not going to be late. Trust me. Okay. Thank you so much, girls. Very nice job. Exactly. And, uh, you know, it's really interesting. Que dice, just relax, you know. It is going to get there in time. So just uh, trust me, right? So, Um, guys, obviously, todo lo, el tiempo, all the time, hablamos de planes, activities que tenemos para next week, next month, uh, next year, and everything. So, como lo expresamos, pretty much, vamos a utilizar estas expresiones, that it says, eh, acá, I'm sorry, me comí el am, um, eh, but here, below, podemos encontrar very good examples of the topic for today. So today we're going to check this one case. I am going to send it by local mail. So I am going to, lo usamos para futuro, right? Eh, oficialmente es el tema que usamos para hablar de actividades, planes, especialmente planes, metas, right? Objectives que tenemos for the future. Um, probablemente hayan visto Will por ahí. También es futuro. Presente continuo que lo vieron en el nivel anterior también es futuro. And be going to es otra forma más de hablar de futuro. Pero cada uno de ellos tiene cosas específicas. So, if you take a look, tenemos muchos ejemplos. For example, it is going to save money. Ah, me va a ahorrar dinero, right? It is not going to be late. No, no va a llegar tarde. No worries, va a llegar a tiempo. So, I can use this one. Y quizás ya hayan escuchado la expresión, I am gonna. So, I am going to es la forma formal Um, to talk about future, and I'm gonna, lo utilizamos también para futuro, pero es la forma informal de hablar de futuro. So, um, probably es bien común que lo escuchen en canciones, like I'm gonna go, I'm gonna do it, so we're gonna, so gonna es también futuro, right? Pero es de forma, eh, no se escribe, solo es cuando hablamos. It's only when we're talking. Um, para propósitos, you know, de inglés eh, formal and uh, academic, vamos a manejarlo ahorita como I'm going to, la forma completa. And ya cuando vayan avanzando, ustedes deciden si quieren, you know, um, que vayamos practicando un poco más. Pueden utilizarlo de forma un poco más relajada, más informal, 
But right now, vamos a trabajar solo con, um, vamos a intentarlo pronunciar como I'm going to, not I'm gonna, right? Um, so, we are talking a little bit about these future activities. And give me one second. I'm going to present my screen here. And so, ¿cuál es la estructura, guys? En, en la plataforma, ustedes lo veían como be going to, right? But, en realidad no es un be going to porque vamos a conjugar ese verbo. So, I'm going to use I am. I'm going to use you are. <clears throat> Third person, she. He and it. Voy a utilizar siempre el is. No se lo puedo quitar. I'm not going to eliminate it. <clears throat> I'm going to use it like this. So we are, they are, and then lo que voy a hacer es agregarle going to a todos ellos. Esto va a ir obligatoriamente, so I am going to, you are going to, she is going to, he is going to, it is going to, we are going to, and they are going to. So no le voy quitando, I'm not going to eliminate this part. Y el siguiente verbo o la actividad que yo vaya a hacer Se la voy a agregar acá después. I'm going to add it after that. Eh, hi, Griselda. For example, si yo quiero decir, guys, voy a trabajar mañana, ¿cómo puedo decir voy a trabajar? How can I say that? Forgotten. I'm, going to, I'm going to work tomorrow. Exactly. So I'm going to work tomorrow. Es bien fácil porque solo I'm going to, you're okay. going to, he is going to. Mm -hmm. Again, I am going to. Si sí, pueden decir I'm gonna, pero es muy informal ahorita. So let's keep it with I'm going to. Um, okay. If I ask you, for example, so by the end of the year, para final de años, guys, for the end of the year, uh, by 2023, ¿qué es lo que van a hacer? What are you going to do? Or what are you going to do for your next birthday? ¿Qué van a hacer el fin de semana? So let's, let me write those questions. Y ustedes me van ayudando with the answers. First, um, what are you going to do tomorrow? Guys, what is the plan for tomorrow? What are you going to do tomorrow? I'm going, going to go to the beach. Oh, are you serious? Are you going to go to the beach? Yeah. In the morning or in the afternoon? In the uh, Saturday and Sunday. Oh, two days. That's yes. amazing. Are you on vacation? Uh, no, just, just for fun. Just a trip. Just a trip. Ah, okay. Are you going? Um, are you going to like go there with your family or with friends? Twice. My family and some friends going to to uh, oh, a ranch. Nice. So, are you going to cook there? Yes, cook. Oh, cook. okay. What other activities are you going to do? Play soccer in the in the beach and um drink some beers over there. So um oh okay, okay, but that sounds amazing. Sounds actually very interesting. Okay. So guys, what about the rest of you? So David is going to uh, spend Saturday and Sunday on the beach. So what about you guys? Yes, yes? I'm gonna Teacher, write here. Uh, ¿Cómo se dice alquilar? Rent. Rent. Mm -hmm. um, so David is going to spend, como se va a quedar sábado y domingo, puedo usar la palabra spend, que es quedarse. So David is going to spend <clears throat> Saturday. Or no, the weekend. So she's going to spend the weekend at the beach. Okay. So guys, what about you? What are you going to do? Um, my life is so bad. I am going to work, guys. I am going to work <laughs> on the weekend. Uh, yeah, so I'm really sorry. Yeah, I am fine. I'm a workaholic. <laughs> okay, guys, what about you? Can I hacer? What are you gonna do? I am going to uh, shopping. Um, You're going to go shopping? Yeah. 
Saturday. Oh, Super Selectos. Oh, oh, sí, acaba de haber payday. It's true. No me acordaba que acaban de pagar por Zoom. <laughs> okay, so you're going to go shopping. All right. Oh, well, podemos decir voy a comprar. Como shopping a veces es como en tiendas y cosas así. Pero si es super, for example, I can say she is going. Well, Bye. in your case, I am going to. I am going to. Eh, sí, o podemos decir do the groceries. Uh, I'm going to do the grocery shopping. Eh, so grocery shopping es bien específico. Como a comprar comida, you know, mm -hmm. eh, grano básico, verduras, like cosas super necesarias. Grocery shopping. Yeah, I'm going to do, or I'm going to do the groceries, or I'm going to do the grocery shopping. Mm -hmm. Okay. We can use that. Uh, guys, what else? ¿Qué van a hacer? What are you going to do? I want, I want to work. Hi, me too. <laughs> okay, but are you uh, going to work the, two days? Saturday and Sunday? No, no. Saturday morning. So, so, yeah, Saturday. Okay, and in Saturday morning. afternoon, what afternoon, are you going to do? Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to play soccer. Ah, okay. How many hours? How much time? One hour, two hours? Uh, one hour. One hours. One hour. And after that, what are you going to do? Solo una hora que tengo el torneo, de cinco a seis. Yes. No sé cómo se dice. No, it's, I'm going to play from five to six. So puedo decir eso. Uh, for example, I am going to play soccer. Será from five to six. Uh -huh. I'm five going to six. Play. Yes, yeah. from uh, from. I'm sorry. Le escribí la acá, pero es from five yeah. to. Utilizamos from to para hablar de rangos. From five to six. Okay, but after that, después de eso, after that, what are you going to do? So, ¿Qué va a hacer después de eso, eh, Mr. Romero? Eh, home back home. Okay. And after that? Dormir. Okay, but in English. <laughs> sleep. Very nice. Okay. So I'm going to get home and I'm going to sleep. Exactly. Exactly. So if you take a look, it's been fast. It's very easy to use it. Porque solamente vamos, I am going to. I am going to play soccer. Later, I'm going to go back to my house. And after that, or then, I'm going to sleep. And that's it. So no nos complicamos much. All right, guys. Uh, what about the rest of you? What are you going to do tomorrow? Uh, so, sé que algunos no trabajan. I believe some of you are not working. So what are you going to do? What's the plan? Uh, I am going to travel to the San Salvador. Yes. So I am going to work all day from 8 a.m. till 5 p.m. Wow, from 8 to 5. That's very long. Okay, so you're coming to San Salvador. All right. And the next day or on Sunday, I am going to May Hunger. Ah, uh, okay. Only this. Why homework? Uh, I have two boys and uh, their homework. So with your kids? Street. Yeah, miss. Ah, okay. So you're going to, oh, we can say like, boy, I'm going to help. Uh, uh, yes, miss. Ah, okay, okay. So we can use, I'm going to help my kids, right? Uh, ah, I'm going to help my kid with the homework. Mm -hmm. okay. I was like, he's studying. Uh -huh. so, yeah, we no. can say, I'm going to help my Only kids. Only English class. Ah, okay. Only English classes. All right. Sounds good. Okay, guys. Uh, ¿Qué sucede? Si yo digo, por ejemplo, que no voy a hacer algo. Like if I ask you, are you going to work tomorrow? And you tell me, no, yo no voy a trabajar. So I say, I am going to work. Pero si lo quiero hacer negativo, ¿qué le agrego? ¿Qué le pongo? ¿Cómo hacemos negativo el verbo? I don't. I don't. 
I am casi, going casi, not. Casi. I'm not. No, yes, solamente le voy a agregar el not. I am not going to work. Uh -huh. Si tengo you are, ah, solo le voy agregando el not y ya lo hicieron negativos. She is going to do the grocery. She isn't going to do the grocery. She is not. David is not going to spend the weekend. So it is not. So the only thing that we are going to be doing is agregarle not. So that is why. Um, como es be going to, acá no le agregamos don't, ni doesn't. Solamente el verbo to be y eso es todo. And that's pretty much it. Y los verbos, of course, nunca se cambian. So con el not, ya lo cambiamos, right? We already modified the whole thing. Dudas, guys, preguntas, questions, anything? Está claro, is it clear, guys? Pregunten, ask me. <ríe> me preocupa cuando no pregunten. Yes? Se cambia el verbo con S solo para las terceras personas. No? Perdón, eh, no. Um, here, como tenemos be going to, después del to, los verbos ya no cambian. So, in this case, a pesar que yo tenga el tercera persona, a pesar que tengo she, David, or it, si se fija, por ejemplo, acá. So, I can say Lupita is going to do. Ya no cambia el verbo. Or David is not or is going to spend the holiday. El verbo ya no se cambia. We do not change them. Porque es que estaba viendo shopping. Oh, yes, está creo que grocery shopping, right? Pero el verbo es eso de acá, el que va después de tú. Uh -huh. El otro es una actividad. Yes. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. So el tú sería el verbo. Okay, guys, so tengo un par de ejercicios and then I have a couple of things to check them. Un segundo, let me see. Yeah, it's here. Okay, so take a look at this one. We have in here. Use the verbs in brackets to complete these sentences. Um, and uh, it can be affirmative or it can be negative. So guys, help me with them, please. Um, number one, I have a, wait, borrow some books from the library today. ¿Cómo completaría number one? How would you complete it? Going to borrow. I'm going to borrow. I am going to borrow, exactly. So, voy a ir a prestar, right? I am going to borrow some books, okay? Number two. How would you complete number two? Like, sí. le quiero decirle a alguien, no le voy a pagar. So, a Jorge? He is not paying your money back. No, okay, solo le, nos falta agregarle algo. To? Yes, he is not going to pay. He is not going to pay back. Lo voy a escribir. I'm going to write it here para que tengamos visibilidad. So here, for example, I can say I am going to borrow, right? El going I am going siempre to borrow some books. Sí, ese siempre va a ir. Y sí. se puede hacer, usar la contracción ahí. Ese. Claro, no hay ningún problema. Es que lo estoy escribiendo completo, pero yes, no hay ningún problema. So he isn't going to, el going to siempre se lo ponemos porque okay. going to es el que me dice el futuro. Mm -hmm. pay. So he isn't going to pay back. He isn't going to pay your money back. Él no te va a pagar. <laughs> so he isn't going to pay back. Uh, number three, the drone is out of control. How can I say by three years? It is going to crash. Yeah, it is going to crash. Exactly. So it is going to crash. There we go. Oh, me faltó algo. What, guys, what is missing? ¿Qué le falta? It is. Yes. It, it is. is, exactly. So it is. So it is going to crash. Number four, they aren't playing well. What they is they aren't not they going aren't. to win. They, they aren't. Going they aren't, ya puse not. They aren't. Mm -hmm. ¿Qué me falta? Oh. Going, going to, to going. Uh -huh. win. Play. Mm -hmm. they, win. Exactly. They aren't going to win. So they aren't going to win. No win. one has an ad, right? Mm -hmm. That's the one. Number five. What, what about number five, guys? We we are going to have very a good. tomorrow. We're going to have a picnic tomorrow. Yes. So we are going to have 
we are gonna have. Ahí es cuando utilizamos el gonna, right? We are going to have. Okay, number six, guys. She fly to New York next week. So she... She is going to... Mm -hmm. She is going to... El verbo. And fly, wow. no lo cambiamos, right? Mm -hmm. So she is going to fly. So el verbo no le ponemos nada más. Eh, Vicky, ayúdeme con el número siete. Help me with number seven, please. You can tell the newspaper, I. Eh, Victoria, Vicky, creo que la acabo de escuchar hace un momento. I am not going. Oh, there you go. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So I am not going. going. To read. Oh, uh, and I think it's a read. Uh -huh. Yes, yes, very good. I am not gonna read it. Exactly. So, yes, puedo usar contracciones también. Yes, of course. No problem with that. Now, look at number eight, guys. I need to tell you something. No me vas a creer. How can I say that? I need to tell you something, but, but you are not going to be. Aren't. Uh -huh. Aren't going to believe. Exactly. So I need to tell you something, but you aren't going to believe it. Or you are not going to believe it. So lo puedo usar contracciones or not. And the last one. Ah, oh, look at the sun. It. Oh, va a ser un día bonito. It. Is. Uh -huh. Going to. It is going to be. Okay. So look at the sun. It is going to be a beautiful day. Va a ser un buen día, right? So we use it normally. Lo utilizamos para planes como la número six. Uh, six. She is going to fly to New York. Lo utilizo también um, la número cinco. We're going to have a picnic tomorrow. So son planes, cosas ya establecidas, right? Or a veces... También se usa para un poquito de predicciones cuando hay evidencia. Like number nine, look at the sun. It is going to be a beautiful day. Um, en podrán preguntar, ¿se parece a Will? Yes, se parece bastante, pero ese es para planes. Lo vamos a manejar this way so far. Um, guys, very good job with this part of grammar. ¿Tienen dudas, preguntas? Do you have any doubt? Esta es la tarea que no nos dejaba pasar. Esta es la tarea que no les dejaba pasar. Ajá, pero creo porque que... yo pensé que así era, como lo hicimos ahorita. Oh, de hecho sí. Ah, eso es lo que no se pone todo. De hecho sí, era, de hecho exactamente así, solamente era poner lo que hacía falta. Exactly. So, guys, this is pretty much for future tenses. Now, um, dudas, preguntas, guys. Creo que con la plataforma ayudó bastante, right? Para entender la estructura, pero nos falta la práctica. Así que let's go ahead and let's practice. Le voy a mostrar un par de pictures. I'm going to show you some pictures. And I want you to tell me what is going to happen. Quiero que adivinen. So look at this. It says what will happen next. Um, algunas de las pictures son like, there are accidents, there is something going on. Um, so, utilizando esto mismo de uh, cuál es la estructura, uh, I am going to, he is going to, she is going to, um, intentemos crear, right, un par de predicciones también, basado en lo que vemos, based on what we look at. Uh, guys, this is picture number one. Les voy a dar un minuto, I'm gonna give you one minute para que las escriban, if you feel more comfortable. So what will happen next? Guys, what is going to happen? ¿Qué va a pasar en esta picture? Uh, look at it. Vean la posición. Vean what is going on. And intenten escribir todas las que puedan. Un minuto, guys. You have a minute.
Okie dokie, guys. So, okay. <ríe> Mr. Castaneda, que ay, no sé bien destino final ha venido. <ríe> yeah, okay. es, es, es verdad, amigo. So, Mr. Castaneda says he's going to die. Okay. Okay, solo cambiamos la palabra death y le, le ponemos el verbo, right? Nice. Que sería die. Yeah, he's gonna okay. die. Oh, guys, ¿están de acuerdo? Are you in agreement that he's gonna die here? No, guys, I'm positive. Be creative. What is gonna happen? Muchas películas de terror, Mr. Castaneda. <laughs> okay. Uh, guys, ¿cuáles son sus predicciones? What do you think it's going to happen? ¿Qué va a pasar? Oh, se va a dar vuelta, van a tener un accidente, or what, what do you think is going to happen, guys? Um, he will not have an accident because as the man is strong, okay. he will hold the truck. Oh, okay. So he's not going to have an accident because this no. strong man, le van a dar vuelta. They are going to like no, hold es que the truck. El mister ahí es, el, es bien fuerte, él sostiene el camión a dar vuelta. He, okay, okay, okay. He's gonna turn it. Okay, sounds good. Actually, Mr. Casanella says something similar. He's going to save the trailer or the truck. Okay, okay. Llevó Superman al rescate. <laughs> okay, that's okay. Yo hubiera dicho que iba a haber un gran derrame, un gran accidente. So there is going to be a big accident, but good, good. Guys, you must predicting. What are your predictions based on the picture? He's going to try to help. Okay, he's going to try to help. Uh huh. Yes. Yeah. Good. Aunque no quieran ayuda. No, but but you know, uh huh. So he's gonna try to help. Okay. Yeah, it sounds good, guys. ¿Qué más? Aunque su, aunque crean que lo que van a decir es obvio, digan, no sé. Because remember, estamos intentando eh, practicar acá, aunque you know, sea bastante, básicamente se vea obvio or something. Say it, no problem. Do you have more, more predictions? Let me see the chat. He is going to, oh, he is going to lose his job. Okay, va a perder su empleo, probably. Guys, como digo despedir? How can I say that lo van a despedir? How do you say despedir? Somebody? Teacher fire. Fire. So how can I say lo van a despedir? He he is going to be fired. Yes, he's going yeah. to be fired. Exactly. So he is going to be fired. He is going to be fired. Okay. He is going to have a much pain. Ah, he's going to have a lot of pain in his shoulder. Very nice one. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Sounds good. Sounds really nice. Thank you for the prediction. Okay. He's Let's... going to be hospital. Ah, uh, he's going to be in the hospital. Okay. Very nice. Or in the seguro social, right? He's going to be in the seguro social for, um, no, I don't want to be bad. So for a, a day, let's say. Okay. Feeling mass. Do you have more? Let me read it. So for the position of the track, I don't think it's the accident. Um, okay. No, I don't know. No, maybe not. But it's really fun. Okay, guys. Thank you so much. Sounds good. Let me show you next. Let's muestro la siguiente. And give me some ideas. La pueden decir en español y la vamos ayudando. And we created. Okay, guys. <laughs> Look at it. 
Cuando um, me tomaron esa foto con ese tatuaje. <laughs> so, ¿qué va a pasar, guys? What is going to happen here? <laughs> he is going uh, to be angry. Okay, he is going to be angry. Okay. Yeah. He's going to be furious. <laughs> okay. Hey guys, what are your predictions? ¿Cómo se dice golpear? Hit or fight? Well, hit is golpear, like literal. And fight is pelear. So, Lupita, ¿qué va a pasar? What is going to happen? What will happen? He's going to hit him. Going to hit him? Okay. So, le va a pelear. He's, he's, go he's him. going to fight. He's going to fight with the, the tour. Okay. Lupita? He's going to hit a to he? Uh -huh. hit him. Well, what does it hit him? Mm -hmm. Okay. So he is going to hit him. Okay. Hit. Miss. Uh, yes. He is going to have a big disappointment. He is going to have a big disappointment, you said? Yes, miss. Yes, a big disappointment. I agree. So, va a tener un gran, una gran desilusión. Carlos said he is going to, okay, solo nos falta B. He is going to be furious. Yes, I agree. He is I going to cry. He is going to, oh my God, yeah. De hecho, um, se va a poner otro. <laughs> he is going to get a second tattoo, you know, yes. to cover the first. Mm -hmm. I agree. going to win the uh, let me go with them and then with Ivet. Debra? Yes, burlarse or laughing or, or no sé, burlarse de él. No, we can use the expression make fun. Make okay, everybody is going to be is going to make fun of him. Of him. Mm -hmm. Everybody is going to make fun of him. He is going to run too fast at home. Oh, that's so bad. Ivet, yeah, tell us Ivet. Uh, he's going, he's to, going to will repent. Oh, guys, había una palabra en la conversación anterior que era arrepentirse. Repent está bien, but en este escenario es como, ay, no lo hubiera hecho. ¿Cuál era la palabra? Mm -hmm. Do you remember? He's going to regret. A regret, exactly. So he's going to regret, yes. Repent es más como en sentido um, religioso, you know, so repent. And oh, okay. we can use, eh, perdón, oh, le iba a escribir la otra, regret. So, usamos regret como para, oh my God, ¿por qué lo hice? Why did I do that? <laughs> so, that would be regret. Okay. He's going to have a discount. <laughs> en el siguiente day meeting, the next one. <laughs> no. Guys, would you get a second tattoo? <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think that's okay. All right. Look at the following picture, guys, and what will happen. So, what do you think is going to uh, happen here? He's going to fall. Okay, so he's going to fall. Teacher, what is he yeah. doing? Um, I think he's painting. So he's painting like the upper part. And so he's going to fall. He's going to... Um, Make, I believe David, make a big accident or have, oh, have, he's going to have a big accident. Yes, that's right. So he's going to fall and he's going to have a big accident. Okay. So, no worries, no worries. That's okay. I get it. All right, guys, do you have any predictions? Estela, Isaias, do you have anything else here? Carla, anything else you'd like to add? Hi, Eduardo, good evening. Yeah. Chat. He is going to uh, injured. Okay, so he is going to get an injury. Okay, okay, yeah, I agree. He is or... going to problem uh, the work. No. Ah, yeah. Va a tener un problema o va a causar un problema? Va a tener... Oh, he's going to have. Oh, mm -hmm. have no, have. Yes, a problem. he's going to have a problem. Okay. <laughs> yeah. 
I think I'm not going to do that. Or something like that, right? He's going to do a, a good job. Ah, we never know. That's a possibility too. Que él no tenga un accidente y si termina, right? That he's not going to have an accident and he can finish. Yeah, that's right. That's right. He's going to have a new job. In a oh, he's going to have a new one. Okay. It's he's going to fall. Okay. Yeah, he's going to fall. Definitely. I think so, but I'm not sure. Lupita? Mm -mm. Yeah, no. Mm -hmm. uh, cannot, ah, no more. I thought you had more. Okay, guys. And the next one, creo que a todos nos ha pasado. So we have been there. <laughs> um, so what is the result of something like this? She's going she to burn. Okay, she's going to burn like her house or the food or what? What is she going to burn? Yeah, the mom, the mom? No, como se dice mano? Oh, her hand. Ah, her hand, <laughs> yes. Okay, so she's going to get burned, okay. ¿Qué más, guys? What else? Uh, ¿Cómo se dice? Uh, <laughs> she's going to... Uh, Find, find, the, find the kitchen. ¿Cómo oh, es ah, la cocina? Yes, yes, podemos decir set fire. Como la canción de Adele, set fire. Es oh, uh -huh, yes. So she is going to set fire to the kitchen. Uh -huh. uh, David's sentence is fun. He says she is not going to have a romantic dinner. <laughs> Okay. Ella no puede cocinar. Ah, you know, she can't cook. Se le va a quemar el agua. She is going to... Uh, Quema todo. <laughs> burn the food. Okay, she's going to burn everything. Okay. Maybe she's going to buy a pizza, right? So that's easier. Okay. Tienen más, guys? Do you have more? They are like a lot of fun. Okay. So I have just... Oh, wait, wait, wait. I have just... Oh, this was the last. Um, so very nice job, guys. Actually, that sounds really good. That's very nice. And now vamos a revisar un poquito su material. Let's take a look at your material. And here we have a little bit of a be going to for a, she is going to discover a new recipe <laughs> with boring food. <laughs> okay, sounds good. Sounds good. Okay. I look at, uh, vamos a revisar la página 41. We're going to check page number 41. And here, guys, we have the following. Um, el día de ayer, yesterday, estábamos hablando de cómo hacer una reservación, right? Eh, un poquito de basic information with rooms and everything. So today, vamos a revisar a little bit more about this. One second. ¿Se recuerdan el vocabulario que vimos ayer? Do you remember? Que vimos un poco de smoking, non-smoking. ¿Cómo le, le llamábamos al servicio de transporte cuando quiero transporte? Ah, uh, se me olvidó. Uh, shuttle service. Shuttle mm -hmm. service. Shuttle, exactly. So we have shuttle service, smoking, non-smoking. ¿Qué más recuerdan? Eh, estamos hablando de Paul. Single room. Brush the room. Paul, room. ¿Cómo se dice piscina? Pool, pool. de swimming pool. Oh, pool. Uh -huh. okay. Pero también pool puede ser el deporte, right? So, puede ser como. ¿Cuál uh, color en español? Que hay unas bolitas y se les pega. Um, billar. So, pool también puede ser billar. So, it can be both. So swimming pool, pool. ¿Cómo usted sabe cuál es la diferencia? Eh, solo por el contexto. Si le digo, por oh, ejemplo, no, no, let's, la oración. Yes, si le ah. digo, let's play pool, eh, no estoy diciendo vamos a la piscina, right? Sino estamos hablando de jugar. Entonces, 
eh, sería el, el deporte, right? The boys okay. and everything. Mm -hmm. Yes. And if I tell you, let's go to the pool. Out. Okay. Mucho más específico. So sounds different. Okay. Uh, ¿Qué más recuerdan? What else do you remember? Expensive, cheap. Expensive, cheap. Okay. Now, what about amenities? Uh, de las cosas que encontramos en un hotel, like part of the things? Uh, wake up uh, call. Oh, wake up call, okay. Business oh, center. A business center, okay. Laundry service. Mini Laundry bar. service, mini bar, yes. Safe. Safe. Safe, yes, very good. Good, good, good. Wi-Fi internet. Wi-Fi internet, okay, very nice. Now, ¿cuáles son algunas formas de hacer una reservación? So, make a reservation is one. ¿Cuáles son las otras? Which are the others? ¿Qué palabras puedo utilizar para hablar de hacer una reservación? Book. Book, yes. Y hay una más. There is one more. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, available. Oh, available. Available. Uh -huh. Aunque, yeah, aunque available es más como disponible, right? Que es mm -hmm. lo que está libre. Pero podemos usar la palabra reserve. So, we can use the word reserve. Me gustaría reservar. Reserve. I would like to reserve a room. I would like to make a reservation. Make a reservation. Y podemos utilizar la palabra book. I would like to book a room. So, las tres, de hecho, ¿te parecen? In the book, I know that it's libro, pero eh, como veíamos ayer la página se llama booking.com, right? Es para reservaciones. Sorry about that. Okay. So, eh, today vamos a seguir un poquito hablando de esa parte. We're going to continue talking about rooms. But... Eh, vamos a, a intentar ir agregándole siempre más detalles, más información, right? Um, yesterday lo vimos un poquito general, like, ¿qué es lo que puedo preguntar? You know, general thing is, but vamos ahora ya a utilizar también futuros, right? To make this a reservation. So, take a look at this conversation. Um, it says, listen to your teacher, read the conversation, and then practice. So, let's take a look at it. It says, um, Jen says, hello, thank you for calling the Golden Star Hotel. This is Jen. Well, this is Julie. How can I help you? Hello, I need to make a reservation. Sure. May I have your name, please? Of course. I'm Gerardo Gomez. Thank you, Mr. Gomez. When are you going to arrive? I'm going to arrive on Friday 14th. How long are you going to stay with us, Mr. Gomez? I'm going to stay until Monday. Are you going to make the reservation for a single or a double room? A single room, please. And that's it. That's the end of the conversation. So, guys, ven palabras nuevas? Do you see new words? Stay. Until I am going to stay. I'm gonna stay. I'm gonna until Monday. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. So until is like, uh, ¿qué día llega? Friday 14th, and he is going to st stay until Monday. ¿Qué comprendería? <clears throat> he is going to arrive on Friday 14th, and he is going to stay until Monday. ¿A qué se refiere until? Mm, no sé. Mm, guys, ayúdennos, help us. Eh, no es necesario que lo busquen, solamente read it y busquémoslo. What do you think? I'm going to arrive on Friday 14th. I'm going to stay until Monday. Eh, llegará Friday, el viernes y se quedará hasta el domingo, hasta el lunes. Yes, so four days, exactly. So, normalmente el anti lo utilizamos a, a la fecha, right? Pero lo podemos cambiar. Por ejemplo, quiero estar solo tres días. I'm going to arrive on Friday, but I'm going to stay until Sunday, right? Le voy cambiando cuántos días quiero estar. So that is until, right? Me? Hasta este día. Mm -hmm. I have a question. Uh, yes. Y no se puede utilizar el till to Monday. Uh, I'm so sorry. Can you say that again? 
Teal to Monday. Um, lo que sucede no. es que Teal es el mismo Until. Lo único que se ha cortado es la forma, eh, es informal. Uh -huh. uh, so, pero sí lo puede cambiar. I mean, lo único que hacemos es en vez de Until, pues se le va a poner Teal. I'm going to stay till Monday. Pero es lo mismo. It's the same. Okay. Now, guys, super important. ¿Cómo le pidió el nombre? No le dijo, what is your name? ¿Cuál fue la pregunta? I have your name. No, may I have. Exactly. So, there we go. The person says, May I have your name, please? Es lo mismo que, ¿cuál es tu nombre? Pero bien cordial, like very, very polite. May I have your name, please? Si quiero preguntar, ¿me das un número de teléfono? May I have your phone number, please? Es lo mismo, pero le vamos a cambiar la palabra name. May I have your email address, please? ¿Qué más pedimos, guys? What other information do you ask for? May I have your email? May I have your email address? May I have your phone number? ¿Qué piden ustedes en su, en su trabajo? What do you ask for? Anticipos. Ah, ok. O cuando piden quienes trabajan con dinero. May I have... Lupita? The information. Ah, may I have the information, please? May I have the document or the ID, please? Mm -hmm. So, es una forma bien cordial de pedir cosas, right? So may I have, um, what else do we see? Super important. Si se fijan, también tenemos preguntas. But, ¿qué tipo de preguntas? Todas son de futuro. All of them are of a future. When are you going to arrive? How long are you going to stay with us? Are you going to make the reservation for a single or double room? So first, vamos a trabajar un poquito con preguntas y luego practicamos um, this conversation. Now, ¿qué elementos va a llevar mi pregunta? For example, acá teníamos, I am not going to work. Um, esto es el verbo to be. So, en una pregunta con verbo to be, ¿qué voy a cambiarle, guys? What am I going to change? Are you going? Solo la posición. Solo la posición. Exactly. So la pregunta acá sería, what would be the question here? Am I going to work? Mm. Lo podemos hacer de varias formas. We can do oh. it in different ways. Esa sería otra. That would be another. So give me one second. And let me select another color. Let me write it here. So puedo preguntarle como, are you? Going to work tomorrow. Y ya es pregunta, that's perfect. Puedo preguntarle también como el uh, am I, pero es una pregunta más hacia mí, right? Pero se puede. Si le quieren agregar WH, es lo mismo que las anteriores. Are you going to work tomorrow? Le puedo preguntar por qué. Why are you going to work tomorrow? Le puedo preguntar dónde. Where are you going to work tomorrow? O le puedo preguntar qué más. ¿Con quién? Probably. So, who are you going to work tomorrow with? So, if you take a look, eh, I'm sorry, acá me faltó la H, pero es la misma estructura que usamos con el verbo to be. Now, um, if I have, wait a second, you are not, I'm going to erase this. I'm not going to eliminate. I'm just going to eliminate. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. For example, uh, I have here. Oh, I said I Lupita. So this is Lupita's. Okay. Y tengo que Lupita va a ir de compras. ¿Cómo, le, cómo pregunto si ella va a ir a comprar? How can I make the question with this uh, statement? Okay, so what would be the question, guys? ¿Cuál sería la pregunta here? What would be the question below? 
Lupita is going to do the grocery shopping. Oh, uh, how can I make the equation? Teacher, it could be uh, where Lupita is going to do the grocery shopping. Okay, mute, perdón. Yes, that can be. Puedo hacer una pregunta de si no, solamente if. Lupita going to do the grocery shopping. Okay, the, that is just fine. So puedo dejarlo así como una pregunta de yes, no. Or de, eh, Debra mencionaba a dónde. So yes, le puedo agregar where is Lupita going to do the grocery shopping. Le puedo preguntar cuándo. When is she going to do the grocery shopping? Le puedo preguntar eh, qué es lo que va a hacer también. So what is Lupita going to do? Y le puedo quitar esto. What is Lupita going to do? So, es el, la misma estructura del verbo to be, right? Lo que hacemos es primero llevamos el verbo to be, be, luego tenemos el sujeto, then we have the subject, luego tenemos going to, y luego tenemos el verbo. Pretty much, es todo lo que vamos a hacer. So, and si quieren agregarle eh, preguntas de WH, siempre van al inicio. So, um, guys, por un momento vamos a imaginar que trabajamos en un hotel. Imagine that you work in a hotel or imagine que uh, piensen en las oportunidades que ya han salido, right? In the opportunities where, when you have a state in a hotel, ¿qué preguntas les hacen? What questions do they normally ask? In the conversation, eh, ya teníamos algunas, right? Por ejemplo, ¿cuánto tiempo se va a quedar? How long? Are you going to este? ¿Para cuántos días? ¿Cuánto tiempo se va a quedar? Right? O oh, también puedo preguntar cuándo se va. When are you going to leave? So, ambas están súper bien. Guys, agréguenme tres, cuatro preguntitas más, please. Pueden ser WH questions o pueden ser preguntas de si no. Like, for example, uh, va a querer un... Are you going to... ¿Qué puedo preguntar, guys? Eh, si quieren algo. Oh, for example, ¿va a pagar con tarjeta de crédito? Are you going to pay with credit or debit card? Oh, ya hablamos de futuro. So we're already talking about future things. Guys, agregamos dos, tres preguntas, please. Try to add two, three more. And si tienen dudas, ¿Sí? let us know y después las hacemos. Sí. Se puede decir, are you going to enjoy her stay? Mm, yes. ¿Cómo su estadía? Yes, solamente, la pregunta está bien, the question is okay. Mm, pero no sé si sería, um, oh, porque es una pregunta, como, ¿vas a disfrutar tu estadía? Mm -hmm. No. Ah, sí, bueno. Sí, Ajá, es, que, es que es una pregunta. Yeah. Fuera diferente que yo le diga, right? Que disfrutes. Oh, you are going to love it. Le va a encantar. O lo va a disfrutar. You are going to stay or enjoy your stay. Mm -hmm. Sí, sería diferente. So guys, agreguemos dos o tres más, right? Pueden agregarles solamente sí, no, o pueden agregarles WH. Eh, para que no les cueste, no se confundan mucho en el proceso, sigan solamente esta estructura, follow it. Asegúrense que primero es el verbo to be, luego el sujeto, luego going to, y luego el verbo, y eso es todo, no lleva like, a lot of details.
Um, okay, so let me just read the sentences. Are you going to be sued? Are you going to be sued? Okay. Are you going to be sued? Okay. 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 Okay, um, so Manuel, las, las oraciones están bien. So your sentence, your questions, I'm sorry, are good. Solamente a little something. Normalmente el want eh, no la utilizamos tanto porque tenemos como otros verbos. Si are you going to es como va a. So no lo, no, um, how can I say? No lo utilizamos para ofrecer. Yo sé que en español suena como va a querer. Eh, but in English, es utilizamos would you like. Entonces, eh, la tercera está súper bien. Are you going to need more towels? Um, quizás en vez de are you going to want um, room service, lo podríamos cambiar a need. Are you going to need? Va a necesitar room service. Are you going to need hot water? En vez de want, sonaría un poquito mejor need. Pero están bien. That's what I mean. Es, gramáticamente, they are really good. Ah, oh, very nice. Okay. David, your question sounds good. Are you going to do the homework? Okay. Are you going to do fish on Saturday? Okay. Um, all right. So, uh, Bane, your questions look good. Quizás solamente un poco más enfocadas a, al hotel, right? Y con beach, le, le cambiamos a go. Are you going to go? Uh, but they look good. They look really good. Are you going to? Okay, um, so Ivette, same thing. The sentence está super bien. La pregunta está bien estructurada. Solamente nos falta un verbo. Um, are you going to? Y luego me falta el verbo. Are you going to um, ask for room service? Are you going to pay room service? Are you going to include room service? Me falta solamente el verbo, but it's okay. Ok, son tres preguntas, like, minimum, right? But si tienen más, agreguenlas, no problem. You can include as many as you want. Las pueden dejar en el chat si gustan que las revisemos, right? Eh, para, to make sure we know eh, and we got it. Are you going to make a smoke room or not smoking? Um, okay. Ah, very nice. Are you going to take a smoking or non smoking room? Ships of the Fate or La Carte? You know, are you going to take a reservation on Spanish? Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I got it. No worries. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Castaneda. They look good. Laundry service. Okay. Are you going to be? You're going to be? Um, let me just take a look. Uh, Carla, I'm checking yours. When are you going to? Are you going to need cheap? Okay, okay. Uh, so Carla, con las suyas, solo me ayuda con la primera. Are you going to be? Creo que es four, verdad? Four more days. ¿Cómo se va a estar aquí por Matías? Yes, teacher. Okay. Oh, okay. So, lo cambiamos. Eh, creo que se le fue por ahí el FE. We can include four. La segunda, no sé si se refiere a March como de irse. Como cuando se va. Ajá, como cuando salir o marchar. Ah, okay. Yeah, lo que sucede es que la palabra March en inglés es eh, un mes del año. Entonces, lo que vamos a hacer es en, cambiarme la palabra March por la palabra leave. When are you going to leave? Y ahora sí, la estructura está bien. Solo cambiamos la palabra. Are you going to need clean sheets? Or new sheets? Mm -hmm. Yeah, very good. Yes. Okay, interesting.
Okay, guys, so very nice job with this. ¿Tienen alguna pregunta? Do you have any question? Any doubt? ¿Algo que quieren agregar? ¿Algo que no esté claro con este tema? I guess that's a no. Okay, guys, so what are we going to do? Esta conversación, the conversation I showed you, se queda bien corta, because es lo mismo que estuvimos practicando ayer. Entonces, what are we going to do? Vamos a intentarla modificar y vamos a agregar parte de las preguntas que ustedes acaban de poner in the chat o que acaban de crear, right? So, are you going to need a safe? Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, it sounds really good. So, guys, intentemos crear una conversación here. Es lo mismo una hotel reservation, but agreguenle más preguntas. No es necesario que digan todo esto. Le pueden ir cambiando información, right? Um, so, guys, alguien quiere hacer un ejemplo conmigo? Like, would you like to make um, a sample conversation with me? Nobody. <laughs> Guys, no muerto. <laughs> okay, uh, so Yvette, can I take you? Can you help me? Yeah. Okay, uh, ¿quieres, ser, <laughs> ¿quieres ser el customer? ¿Quieres ser el, el cliente? Would you like to be the customer or the receptionist? The customer. Okay. So, voy a utilizar el mismo nombre y luego vamos, a, vamos inventándole, right? Lo vamos creando okay. diferente. <clears throat> so, um, hello, thank you for calling the Golden Star Hotel. This is Julie. How can I help you? Hello, uh, good morning. Um, good morning. Uh, I heard you from, um, I would like to make a reservation. For, oh. for three persons. Oh, sure. I'll be happy to help you. Uh, may I have your name, please? Oh, yeah. Yvette Aquino. Thank you, Yvette. And when are you going to arrive? Um, Saturday. So, uh, Saturday, like tomorrow, February 18th. February um, or February the 25th. 25th. Okay, sure. And how many days are you going to stay? Uh, two days. Okay, so um, are you going to leave on um, Sunday or on Monday? Monday. Oh, okay. Please? So. Uh -huh. Okay, so just to confirm your reservation we, um, is going to be for two days from Friday the 25th to Monday the 27th yes. of February. Okay, okay. Uh, so are you, is there anything special that you would like in your room? Um, are you going to need um, like a kitchenette or um, a single room, a double room. Is there any special request? Mm, double room. Okay, so a double room sounds fine. Um, okay. okay, so for three days at yeah. our hotel, it is going to be uh, $500. Are you going to pay with credit card or debit card? Mm, credit card. Okay, no Please? problem. Okay, sure. Um, are you going to uh, need the shuttle service? Yes, please. Okay, okay, sure, no problem, sir. So I'm just going to make your reservation here and I'm going to take um, your credit card number. Pídame algo, Ivet. Sea una cliente bien, bien, bien picky, you know. <laughs> Um, what is there? Um, room service, mini bar, uh, para, para pedir, 
puede Ajá. pedirlo como I am going to need, voy a necesitar, o lo puede okay. pedir como I would like, cualquiera de I los dos. Like. Mm -hmm. okay. I would like, I me would gustaría. Like. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ok, I would like um, from Serbia. Ok, um, I'm so sorry, uh, Miss Aquino, we do not have room service, um, but we have a restaurant and you can go and have dinner in the restaurant. Is that okay for you? Yes. And reservation, uh, incluye, ¿cómo se incluye? Eh, La comida. ¿Qué incluye? Ajá, ¿qué incluye? The reservation. Oh, so, okay. So, podemos hacer la pregunta, what does it include? What does it include? What does it include? Mm -hmm. What does it include? Well, it includes the use of the building. So you can use um, the terrace and the swimming pool. We have a small uh, place for you to have um, like a massage. We have a massage. Um, there is like a game room if you have kids. And uh, there is also a restaurant so you can use like all the installations there. The room includes a uh, air conditioning, uh, Wi-Fi, and uh, we do not offer uh, room service. And uh, we have adjoining bathrooms. Okay, Is that perfect. all right for you? Okay, perfect. Okay, uh, amazing. Good to me. Perfect, so your uh, reservation is done. I'm just going to send you to the machine to um, charge and get your money. <laughs> okay. Very nice job, Ibe. That's actually very good. Congrats, porque fue improvisado. That was improvised. So that was really, really good. I like it. Like it, looking good. All right, guys, very nice job with that. So um, we are gonna try to do the same. So, obviously, eh, Ivette was the customer here. Ahora vamos a intentar ambas, right? A customer, pero también al mismo tiempo, like the receptionist, para que practiquemos cómo hacer preguntas. In the chat, les agregué uh, these three things. La primera es, si ustedes van a pedir algo, lo podemos pedir como I would like, me gustaría, right? O lo podemos pedir si es algo que realmente necesitan, I'm going to need it. I'm going to need Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi connection. I'm miss. going to need shadow service. Yes, Miss. Miss, if I want to to need uh, to be in the first uh, floor, I just say I would like to be in the first floor, or I want a room with a view of the sea or something like that. Yes. I don't know. Definitely, yes. Yeah. So if there is, uh, that's why I was asking. Anyway, si hay como una petición especial. Yeah, you can ask for that. Like, I would like, I, I would like to be on the first floor. I would like to be like, uh, I'm gonna need privacy. I'm gonna need privacy. Um. Okay. Oh, how do you say terraza, Miss? Terrace. Terraza. Terrace. Ah, uh, I, I, I would like to be in a, uh -huh. with a ter no. I would like to be in a room with a terrace. Or, or, or como hey. diría. Yeah, you can use that one or algunos tienen balcony, but depende. Eh, mm -hmm. But normalmente lo puede pedir con una vista. So normally we say like, I would like to, I would like a room with a, with nice a view, view. Uh, with a nice view or por lo general es una vista al, al mar, right? So I yeah. would like a room with a view to the ocean. Um, so sí, somos como bien específicos, it generic. Um, si tienen alguna petición especial, por ejemplo, hay personas que andan en silla de ruedas, you know, uh -huh. or han tenido accidentes, se pide una sola vez. So, uh, look, um, I, um, I have a wheelchair, so I would like to be on the first floor, right? Or I would like a system. Entonces, you know, you can ask for all those things. Um, ¿Qué más pedirían, guys? Una view, al, uh, una view. No sé hacia dónde, pero una vista. <laughs> like a view. A view to the ocean. A view to... Well, lo he visto más hacia el océano. I don't know if you can ask for a view to the volcano or something. But, ¿qué más pedirían? What else would you ask for? Mm, 
garden beer? Oh, a garden beer. Oh, very good question, Eduardo. Are dogs allowed? Very nice. Ayer hablábamos de smoking on smoking, but this is a really good question. ¿Quiénes andan con perritos y gatos? Yep. Podemos preguntar, are dogs allowed? Are cats allowed? Or podemos preguntar, hay una palabra que se usa mucho, probablemente ya la vieron, que es, are you pet friendly? So pet friendly se refiere a que aceptan gatos, animales, todo lo demás. So pet friendly. Friend, friendly. Uh -huh. So that's a really good one. Are you pet friendly? Or are dogs allowed? Pet friendly is aceptan gatos y perros. Very nice question. Um, ¿Qué más? Anything else? Any other special request? Uh, También había lo de lo de laundry. Podemos preguntar si tienen la bandería, el servicio de lavandería. Do you have or do you offer laundry service? Do you have laundry service? So guys, um. Teacher, ¿y para el planchado de la ropa? El laundry, dentro del laundry service, incluye lavado, secado y planchado. Es todo, como oh. todo el servicio, right? Uh -huh. Laundry service. Um, y algunas veces le van a decir que están las máquinas o usted tiene que ir a lavar, right? No incluye el laundry service. So, um, okay, guys. La conversación con Ibel was really good, but I'm sure que ustedes la pueden incluso agregar muchas más cosas que no lo hemos considerado. So, Um, again, no es necesario que le escriban, it's okay si le escriben, but si lo pueden hacer de la misma forma que lo hemos estado haciendo, that's even better. Um, si no saben cómo hacer una pregunta, escriban la pregunta en español, intenten hacerla juntos y luego ya la practican with the questions and everything, right? Um, so, guys, vamos a practicar unos minutos. Vamos a intentar crear conversaciones like this, right? Um, let me see. ¿Quiénes están? Griselda ya está con nosotros. Or are you still a listener? ¿Quién más no está, guys? Let me just make sure. No quiero mandarlos. Que se me quedan solos. Um, one, two, Isaías. Está con nosotros. Edwin. Are you with us, Camilo, guys? Okay, then they are listeners. One, two, three. Eh, Carla está con nosotros. Are you with us? Okay, I guess she's a listener. Okay, guys, so... I'm going to um, ask you to join the groups. Vamos a practicar un par de minutitos. Um, escuchen a los compañeros, right? Corríjanse también, ayúdense, because that's really important. Y luego regresamos y les presentamos. So, vamos a hacerlo al azar, así que intenten practicar tantas preguntas como puedan. Todas las que tienen, compártese las que tienen, para que las vayamos practicando tú, right? So, tenemos un par de minutos, guys. Let's go, please. Sorry. Uh, let's join the groups, guys. Um, okay, okay, Carla, no worries. Yeah, me imagino que está trabajando, right? That's okay. Totally fine. So, let's go. Let's go. Vane, let's go. Eduardo, let's go. Let's practice. Griselda, let's go.
Miss me sacó del room. Voy, me espero ahorita me quizás el mismo internet es given us some issues. Uh, try now, probably it works.
Hi guys, uh, thank you for coming back. So give me one second. Solo creo que me faltan algunos. I think I'm missing some people. Okay. Okay, so mientras los demás vienen, while the rest of them come miss, back. Yes, who Miss. Do you write? Eh, eh, ¿Cómo se dice? What's the word? Eh, pagarías en, en efectivo o tarjeta de crédito. ¿Cómo pagarías? Uh, sure. Well, podemos utilizar eso, like, are you going to pay? ¿Vas a pagar? So, we can use el, el mis, la misma estructura. Are you going to pay with credit card or debit card? Or, si quieres ser más cordial, puede preguntar con, would you? So, le gustaría pagar, would you like? Would you like to pay? Or are you going to pay? Cualquiera de letras es fine. Are you going to pay? Are you going to pay with credit card? Would you like to pay with credit card? Alrighty, guys. So, um, I think... Um, algunos compañeros todavía are like not here. So um, let's listen to two couples, guys. Uh, who would like to present? Tenemos voluntarios. Do we have any volunteer? Improvisan la right. So la pueden improvisar. Pueden hacer la, las preguntas que tienen y inventarse la respuesta. And that's totally fine. Porque nos ayuda también a practicar listening, a practicar y a um, Poner nuestro oído a trabajar tú as well. So, um, can I have two? Or victims, guys. Let me just select one here. So, my first person is Camilo. You're my first. Camilo is aquí. Are you with us? I think Camilo was not. Okay, so my second person is David. Thank you so much, David. So you are the chosen one. And oh. David, escoge un compañero o compañera. Select a person. Okay, let me see. Mr. Castaneda. Okay, Mr. Castaneda is hiding. Yeah, hi, Very nice, me. guys. So, yeah, improvise it super cortita. Un minuto, guys. You have a minute. I'm going to, voy a tomar el tiempo. Acá. So, go. Okay, inicia, David. Okay. Wait. Uh, Hello. Okay. Okay. Thank you for calling the Golden Star, Star Hotel. This is David. How can I have you? Hi, David. I, uh, my name is Luis Castaneda. I need to make a reservation for my family. Sure, of course, Mr. Castaneda. Uh, how many people come with our hotel? Uh, four people, my wife and my daughter and son and me. How, how do you want uh, your room hotel? Excuse me? How do you want uh, the room hotel? Uh, one. I don't understand. Are you going to make the reservation for a double or triple room? Ah, okay. Um, double room. Uh, I like. Uh, and time uh, is over. <laughs> yes, time is over. Time is over. Me but me guys, no, 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 that's totally fine because it's a conversation bien real. It's actually very real. Y me gustó mucho el hecho que you were like, I'm sorry, I don't understand the question. Porque es algo que va a pasar. It's something that happens to us, que nos va a pasar, tal vez no entendemos. Or entendemos algo diferente. So very good job, guys. That was Porque actually cuando, very cuando nice. No vivo, sí, lo que yeah, I mean, that happens. Intenten alguna vez llamar a una empresa americana y hagan una reservación. That is going to happen. So that was very realistic. Thank you guys so much. So okay. um, 
David, escoja a alguien más. Select one more person. Tenemos un momentito here. Um, Lupita. Lupita. So, Lupita, selecciona a su compañero o compañera, please. Select your partner. Mm. ¿Qué pasó? You are the chosen one. La, usted ha sido la, la, la víctima seleccionada. ¿no? ¿Yo para qué? La elegida. Um, la ¿Para, elegida qué? ¿Para qué soy la elegida? Pues para algo bueno. A ver. No, va a presentar la conversación. Uh, va a ser una room reservation. Lo mismo que estuvo practicando, right? So, mm. Escoja a su compañero o compañera. Select a person. Okay. Ibet. Okay, perfect. So, Ibet, where are you? Ahí está. Okay, girls, tienen un minuto. You have a minute to make your reservation. Let me know when you are ready. <sighs> uh, where do you like to travel? Um, I would like to travel to Costa Rica. Uh, how much day? Um, five days, please. Uh, may I have your name? Um, Ivet Aquino. Okay. Uh, are you going to a river? Um, I will Monday. Monday? Yes. Yeah. Uh, are you going to reserve a economic room or suite or a president room? Suite room, please. Okay. Uh, how many people come with you? Um, three people. And time is over. <laughs> Very emotional. Yes, I know. I know. It's difficult. It's not that hard. Very good yeah. job, girls. That was actually very nice. Me gustó que no sé si lo habían practicado before, but eh, pregunta, respuesta, super coherente. That was very coherent. Uh, solamente escuché algo por ahí. Um, I don't remember in what part it was, pero escuché la parte de how many um, or how much I think. So, solamente recordemos que si la palabra si le puede agregar ese, utilizamos how many, right? How many days? How many people? Pero si es eh, como el, la hora, por ejemplo, so, o oh, oh, tiempo, es cierto. How much. Es Creo que solamente es detallito, ¿verdad? Right? But that was very good. Very good job. Very nice. Girl. Me gustó okay. que hasta la habitación presidencial le ofreció. Oh, yeah. <risa> sí, increíble. Sí, vale soñar. <risa> sí, hasta no, la sí. <risa> No, me, sí, es que... Encantó. Es que nuestro hotel va, tiene buen suerte. That was really nice. No, I really like it. I mean, creo Next que quedamos, level. quedamos picados I ayer de estar revisando booking.com, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> That was nice. I like it. Okay, guys, antes que se vayan, before you just leave, the time is running so fast. Um, but that happens because you have been like practicing a lot and super involved, guys. So thank you for the participation. Solo les tomo la asistencia really quick. Guys, terminamos miércoles. We have three more classes to go. Please don't miss it. Um, I got Camilo. Camilo is there, but I haven't heard him. Uh, I have David. Go, go, go. Deborah. Hey there. Uh, Edwin. Lupita. I have Eric. Abigail. Somebody. Hello, Miss. Hey, Miss. Great to see you there. Griselda. Uh, Isaías. Yvette. Present teacher. Thank you. Got Javier. Jorge. Present teacher. Hi, Jorge. Are you working? No. I got Eduardo. Yeah, Eduardo lo acabo de escuchar. So, Eduardo, very nice job, by the way. They're not working today. Got Carla. Present teacher. 
Thank you. Mr. Cruz, no lo veo. I don't see him. Um, Mr. Castaneda. I hear miss. Thank you. And I have Manuel. Yes, I miss. Okay, great. All right, guys. So, oh, and Bunny. Bunny, I got you already. No worries. Okay, guys. So thank you so much for your attendance. And I'll be seeing you on Monday. Enjoy your weekend, guys. I sleep super well. And see you on Monday. Have a great weekend. Yeah. See you Have people. Good night. Bye. Bye. See you on Monday. Bye. 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 Good night. God willing. See you on Monday. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.